Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to take a look on Azure Active Directory dynamic groups. What are dynamic groups and how these are different from static group and how we can use the dynamic groups to target the specific content based on the groups. So first of all, start with what is dynamic groups under Azure Active Directory. So you must be familiar with that we are having groups and user under our Azure AD and one of the specific category of groups is dynamic groups. So these dynamic groups actually allow us to create complex attribute based groups which define the attribute or the query defines the dynamic membership of that group. So let's say we are having one example where I would like to uh, create one group for IT department where all the users belong to IT department should be a part of that group and that group I can be able to use while emailing while targeting specific content under our SharePoint. So that gives us capability. So what we have to do for that, we have to create a dynamic membership query rule. Wherein in the static groups, what happens? Like we have to have the members added predefinedly. So when I say predefinedly, I mean like if a group is having, for example, IT department, I have to manually manage the group members to it. I have to manually remove, add. So dynamic groups actually removes the overhead of maintaining the groups membership manually, adding and removing all that. So this is a quick way of creating and a smart way of creating the groups where you can directly target or use that group based on the some attributes. So let's start by creating one dynamic group and then I'll use the same dynamic group in my SharePoint intranet site to target some specific content so that that specific content should only be visible to that group members. So for logging into Azure portal, I have to go to office platform, let's say, and under that I'll be going to the administration piece. So I'll go to the admin. and show all you would able to see under the admin center we have as active directory so you can click from here so directly it will land up you on this active uh, azure active directory admin center so remember this like if you are having azure ad premium p1 or p2 license then only you you would able to create the dynamic groups otherwise only that uh, the normal license would only give you the uh, static groups only so let's go to the Azure Active Directory and under these groups, we can see we have existing groups and over here you can create a new group. So for our demo purpose, I'm going to create one group that is managers and above. So I would like to have one group where all companies managers should lie. And on my internet portal, I would be having some sections which should only be visible to managers, those who, has, who are managing teams. So rather than creating one static group for this and adding users or members to this, like it's a cumbersome process and as well as additional overhead for IT admin team or any group owner that whenever some person joins as a manager, then that person should be adding to that group. So catering that requirement, we'll be creating one new group that would be dynamic group and we, I'll create that as Office 365 group. And that can be create this office to set group would able to be used to send emails and target content as well. So I'll just create this with group name, let's say company managers and above. I can specify the description, let's say same one. And under this membership, if you use this assigned one, that means like it's a static one. Whatever you are adding members to this group would be static. If I say dynamic user, then it will give me this dynamic user membership query. So when I click on add, so it gives me a page where I can start choosing the property and the operators to build that query. So as I said, my managers, my company managers should be there in this group. So what I would choose from property. So I have like a set of 
predefined properties which I have in my AD and there are uh, other ones as well like we see extension attribute one two three so these I can map with my custom properties for example my this default AD doesn't provide me budget center but I would like to have some query over the budget center then I can have that mapped in my active directory first of all the extension attribute one as a budget center then I can use this attribute one to make any other query so right now because I know like my this company's manager title would be for, for example three or four titles are there for manager and above so I would be choosing the titles where job title contains manager I will use add expression and or operator so again I'll choose job title and this time contains and this time is character so it's just anyone like it's a id director or hr director all the directors would come over here i'll additionally i'll add another set of query and property same job title and contains vice president so it's senior vice president or vice president all would be catered with this query so you can have multiple expressions over here and ultimately you can save this query so that it can this query can start defining the uh, dynamic membership of your this uh, group so when you once you click on this so this group would get created so I can just find that So it takes a while to create it so it will be available within within the next 30 seconds and as it's, it's a dynamic group so sometimes the the newly added user takes a while to get added to this uh, group so when I say takes a while so some some operations some flow or job must be running behind the scenes so it takes uh, approximately like 15 to 20 minutes the max what I saw to sync up this uh, group for the first time so don't worry about that if you immediately don't start uh, seeing you yourself or somebody else into the dynamic numbers so just wait okay so I have this company managers above group and if I click on it if I go over here in members I don't have anyone as of now because it's still syncing and meanwhile I can go to my users and I will just create one user and I will say this user as in somebody who is with the director designation so that we, we should be validating that this user should be available under our dynamic group so I will just create let's say James Fork and name is James So this user property I'm just filling up and auto generate password and create and I have just created this James and I need to set the property as in job title as in character so that this property can be filtered within our dynamic group. So I'm just setting I'm just I've just added this profile properties and going down to find out my job title so here it is i'm saying director and saving this so now i have created one user with director role or the job title so my dynamic group should be picking this new, new user under the dynamic group members I'll just search for my group And just go to members so you can see by default these two people got added to members and why because these must be having some manager or director title so if I click on any of the user and go to the job title okay so it's vice president that's why it was picked up and the other one is having job title as senior manager so that's why this dynamic group says that it's a member 
and our newly added person should also be available yep so we got this newly added user name spoke because the title was director so now our group is ready to be used so what you can do uh, if you want to use this group for example on HR site where only the uh, performance evaluation should be available the section should be available for company managers and above then you can just go to your site and try to find out trying to find out for that section and just uh, do the enable target audience so for example this is my company's internet portal and uh, let's say for the section let's let's pick this section so these are uh, quick links so let me target this quick links with our newly added dynamic group so consider that this quick links should only be visible to one set of users and that should be based on dynamic group or company managers so first step would be added this web part go scroll down enable target audiencing so once this is done you can just close this pane or let's say like this link volunteer day registration is only be targeted to this new group companies and manager so you have to select this item this link and scroll down to right uh, bottom from the right and start typing your group name so i have just typed company manager and above so this was my group so i'm targeting this one the first link should be targeted to this group only and you can close it and republish your page so you just saw like that uh, quick link just went uh, gone it's, it's gone it's not showing me though i was there why it is because it takes time in syncing the target audience stuff based on the dynamic groups so hardly it takes like two three minutes when i start start uh, getting that link back based on target audience so the key is whenever you don't see the expected result so just wait for three four minutes because it's ad group takes time to sync at all the places so just wait it will be there for sure all right so we just achieve the target audiencing stuff within sharepoint using this dynamic group and as well as you can just try finding that out because it's a company group uh, we just created so it should also start coming up over here in your in your outlook so it ta it's taking time so probably like in few other minutes it should be there so i think that's the point you got like why we should use the dynamic groups and how the dynamic groups membership works based on dynamic rules and uh, what are the advantages of use, using a dynamic group over static group assigned groups so i believe that's it for today and if you like the video please do subscribe and drop your comments if you have any questions thanks